Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So yeah, we're currently in our quarters. Uh, we just need to head upstairs and uh, get going to our new destination. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> Do you remember what it was called? Oh dearie me. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? <laughs> I do that sometimes. Oh, Suvi, you weird person. <laughs> Let's get going. So where are we going? Yeah, we've we got an awful lot of stuff here, but we're going somewhere else right now. Uh, system view, that's it. Anomaly on sensors. Yes, yes, I know. Um, I'll come and have a look at that in a minute. Uh, Aya, that's where we're going. We're going to Aya. Just go through this whole palaver again. I mean, it's frankly amazing that you can travel around a galaxy so quickly. We're Just on a, a couple of minutes. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. No, oh, dear me. What the feck is that? Ketchips. A dozen. No, more. Yeah, that can't be good. Look at the size of those guns. Those guns They've are bigger than our ship. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one <laughs> in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. <laughs> no, you can't mad. take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! How did they know we'd be here, though? That's Report. the question. Enemy destroyed. Were they just blockading Damage the planet? Sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. Interesting volcanic planet we're there. Being contacted. We have to land. Open a calm. Oh, Jagalesto. We're visitors from we another come in galaxy. Peace. <laughs> Our intentions are peaceful. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's just a... Yes. A little patch that. of green in a load of madness. It's beautiful.
we need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. Hmm. Lighten up, or well, this is a great moment. Yeah. This is what it's all about, right? New worlds, new aliens. Wish me luck. There's a bit of weird audio going on there. Thank you. May Hamdel goes. I assume we just follow them then. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Oh, so now Hello. you speak English. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes, you crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? Hmm... I don't think we're going to, like, lead with that. <laughs> I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. Absolutely. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. I mean, it sounds reasonable. You know, you just land in this place completely unannounced. They don't know your intentions. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. No, we'll get time to do Everest that guards later. Will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. What do you think a resistance is, seriously? <laughs> the girls keeping everybody back. Levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to try it. Yeah, they're not happy. <laughs> Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. I am. I'm following you. You're the one who's walking slowly. And this is actually as far, fast as I can go. Well, to be fair, if one of these guys landed on Earth, we'd stare, wouldn't we? Register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. There are waterfalls everywhere. I can't see. What happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. Well, I guess we better go indoors then. <laughs> and we just opened the door. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. 
I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the resistance. Are you I just going to take his gun? Our experience with the cat makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. Oh, you can trust us? Really? Really? What kind of response would that be? That's exactly what somebody who's not trustworthy would say. Of course, you completely understand their point of view. We've had our own run-ins with the cat. Then you really do understand. Of course we do. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, it really bothers me you? that Angara isn't capitalized the fights in the subtitles. Every day with everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Yeah, I remember the weird way he said that. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Mushai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Oh, great. Do we have to go and rescue her? <laughs> and prove ourselves to these people? I can do it without her, or does it have to be her? I think that's more... That's a bit more arrogant than that. It's like, does it really have to be her? There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant? I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? The of other course. option was more arrogant. Ephra, I feel... I'm sure the other option was more arrogant. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. It's really weird, Joel, um, you camera angle. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. <laughs> Welcome aboard. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. <laughs> a weird handshake. I, I don't regret this. Me too. I mean, you can't expect a, something like a handshake to be, uh, you know, universal. Okay, I've return to the Tempest. Of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. First steps. No, I will. Oh, it's really this thing here. Ships fixed up and ready to fly. Fantastic. Let's go.
So where exactly are we going? And how long is this going to take? I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. I certainly did. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. That's not Ryder, what I said. We followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Kello the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. And again, it's a bit of a weird, <laughs> a bit of a weird, um, bit of a weird camera angle. That's the one I was looking for. So, um, she really didn't come across as much of a leader there, did she? Is that? Oh, come on, guys! Like, please, <laughs> please, um, uh, please just get along. It's not quite how I would have phrased it. Um. What is that? These? Why is that highlighted? Do we need that now? I don't think so. So we'll quick look at the journal and see what we're going. So we've got helping Haval scientists uh, meet the resistance. Travel to Vold. Travel to Haval. That's what we're doing at the moment. Oh, I see. The militia strike teams handle dangerous operations. Oh, really? I don't want to do that just yet. It is a priority operation, though. I'm not entirely sure, because like, the, militia, the militia strike teams are... 
they're like a side missions. They're not even side missions. They're like the um, they're like AVP. They're just sort of there in the background getting you rewards. Um, anyway, basically, do we want a kind of jungle world, or do we want like snowy? <laughs> um, do we want sort of snowy ice planet? That's the big question. I definitely think it's better to start there, actually, at Haval. I quite like the sort of uh, jungle planet. So, yeah, we'll go there first, I think. Uh, the question is, we don't really have an awful lot of time left in this video. It would be a case of arriving, meeting everybody, and then... I don't know. Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so... Emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. <laughs> Indeed. So he's going to be probably in the tech lab, actually. Yeah, the door's shut. That usually means there's somebody in there. Let's go and have a quick look. So, Jarl. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. <laughs> yeah, so are you. And you're alien to us, so... there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. Oh, fair enough then. Be Mr. Enigmatic. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or oh, she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. Yeah, you could tell it was Ket. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> Absolutely. You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate? Add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? <laughs> exactly. See you later. Uh, idioms and figures of speech don't really transcend cultural barriers, do they? So we've met our new crewmate. There's, that's the thing. I haven't met Liam on the ship yet. I would have thought I'd have found him somewhere. This door shut. So there's the another Nexus. scene here. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. That would indeed be the, uh, the logical step, but yeah. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said 
I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a hunter suited me fine, <laughs> but she insisted. Really? Was it cold? I don't know. Maybe it was. Wow. You fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. <laughs> Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place, even AI, or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me that's okay? He gave it you definitely a seems. He was good at that. It definitely seems as he if the dad was long, good. Especially someone at like that the sort initiative. Of thing. So I gave the initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted, my rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder. Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Sounds good. Sounds good. You've all, you've always got to strive for the little things in life that aren't necessarily important or vital or necessary. Aya has so much biodiversity. What is in here anyway? Oh, it's just the airlock. Right, fine. Just like Sir Kesh. Hmm. Well, I think we've talked enough. Let's uh, head on over to Vold. Is it Vold we're going to? No, it's Haval. We're going to have Haval. Not Vold. I'm picking up something. <laughs> yeah, you always pick up something, Suvi. Uh, there's Haval down here. Just look at how far away that is. Yeah, we are quite a long way away. <laughs> Look at that, there's stuff everywhere. There's stuff everywhere, man. Come on, let's go let's get over there. Let's get over there and land, shall we? See what we're dealing with. It's kind of weird the way you sort of zoom in on that and then you come out here. It's over here, is it? Right. There we go. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, weapons are fine. Weapons are all fine. Sending the nerve point for Darpalev. That's where the emotions team should be. Good. Hope we don't in run into anything that makes us crash again. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think it's. What have you seen, Suvi? Yeah. 
Oh, okay, great big flying things. Well, that's something you don't see back home. That's very true. Bringing us in. Just put the thing down ready. Okie dokie, here we are. <laughs> and that's a good place to leave it, I think. Is uh, yeah, here we are. Beautiful jungle. Beautiful jungle place. Really big contrast with the desert that we were just in. Really great. You can just hear all those, all that wildlife in the distance. Anyway, that's enough for today. I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.